It's been two years since faulty equipment sent eight acrobats plunging to the ground during a Ringling Brothers performance in Providence. And tonight we're learning those eight performers have filed a lawsuit. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pleiner has the story that's new at 530. It is almost two years exactly to the day a terrible incident unfolded here in Rhode Island. It led to serious injuries, a traumatic experience for many, heroism on the part of local first responders, and now a lawsuit. Who can forget that ill-fated hair hang act at the circus? Barnum and Bailey and Ringling Brothers was doing a run of shows at the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence when on May the 4th, 2014, a troop of female acrobats went crashing over 20 feet to the ground. An investigation zeroed in on a carabiner as the origin of that terrible mishap. Now the eight performers are suing five companies tied to that piece of equipment in Los Angeles Superior Court. The complaint alleges in part, defendants were negligent and reckless with regard to design, manufacture, testing, assembly, distribution, sale, and inspection of the subject carabiner. It continues. The subject carabiner was defective when placed on the market by defendants and was of such a nature that the defects would not be discovered in the normal course of inspection and operation by users. The lawsuit states plaintiffs suffered severe and permanent injuries, serious emotional distress, a loss of earning capacity, and incurred significant medical expenses. The women are asking for a jury trial and unspecified damages. OSHA would go on to find the circus $7,000 after finding the carabiner was improperly loaded. The circus took issue with that, saying that it was properly inspected and the carabiner was rated to hold 10,000 pounds of weight. The performers weighed only about 1,500 pounds. The circus is not a defendant in this lawsuit.